Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, good, good. How, how are you? How's, how's quarantine treating you right now? It's going good. Just really staying out the way. Um, again, just trying to continue to stay busy, but stay busy in a healthy way. So we out here and we just, you know, staying to ourselves, but we were still working though. Absolutely. How are you? I'm good, girl. Same thing. Trying to, you know, one day at a time. I forget sometimes, but it's all good. But you are doing your thing. Um, I mean, you're not letting quarantine stop. Y'all seeing you doing your runs, and we appreciate you checking in with us on Dime Time Radio. A uh, new record. Yes. You got your line out, and I want to get on that too because you got a lot of stuff out right now. The headphones, the, yes. the bonnets, the robes, the the brushes. Yes. So talk about that first. So you want me to talk about the my products and stuff, right? Yes, you, yes. You went out. I couldn't hear you because you went out a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Yeah, I want you to talk about, like, your products, your line that you got out right now with your uh, your clothes and your robes and your bonnets. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So, already know, you guys, I'm with City Trends. I have my own electronic line and I have my own beauty line. That partnership came about, you know, I was already a brand ambassador for the company, and I kind of wanted to kind of expand my brand with them and expand my name with that, you know, that company. And I was like, you know what? Let me figure out a bigger way to be a part of City Trends. So what me and my manager decided to do was like, look, you need your merch in the store. You need to, you know, let's get it. You know, you could do it. People will buy your merch. Let's continue to keep branding yourself. So we had our first meeting in New York in July of last year. And we just kept that a secret, you know, and we were like, you know what, let's just figure it out. Let's see what you want to do. Let's see how your products are going to, you know, what products you want, because you can't put out anything. And then we kind of solidified the, yeah, we solidified the deal and we did it, you know. And I, what I did was with the, you know, with the products, I kind of made it something with me. Like I, if I, when they presented me with electronics, I was like, you know, what? I used to do radio. So it makes sense to do headphones. You know, I have sensitive skin. I want some latex-free um, makeup brushes. I want hypoallergenic brushes. Like, I want to make sure, like, when I give out to the people, they come into my world and know, like, look, like, V got this, I got this. It's work for her. It's gonna work for me. I never want to um, put out anything that's false advertising, anything like that. So we have definitely been like on a road with City Trends for a minute, and to to know that I have my own product in stores right now in 570 stores. It's amazing. It's, so ama it's amazing. It's amazing. And we're slowly opening to, um, again, I'm not trying to encourage nobody to go shop right now. But again, if you do pass of by course. City Trends and it's open, peep in and see if my product <laughs> is in that building. But wear your mask if you peep in, okay? So, yes, yes. Yeah. Social distancing and all that. And, you know, you're talking about your lines. And I know right now, especially with quarantine, I think everybody's experiencing change when it comes to financial, you know, uh, jobs, employment. So, like, you're still pushing. You know, you're really yes. about that entrepreneur life. What advice do you have to folks that's even tuning in right now that's just trying to stay above water, trying to get their business out there? What advice would you give them? Um, definitely, I'm a big prayer warrior. And, you yes. know, I, I, I definitely put God first in all that I do. And I try to understand, again, in this pandemic, to me is not just about you know people getting sick and I don't know how we got started I don't know how this happened but I think for me it's very biblical for me yeah. because I always say this it's a wake-up call for us Absolutely. so God can get us together in this pandemic so when we go out we know how to work we would know how to treat people we will know what to do and it's a humbling situation too it's a humbling for a lot of people the rich and the rich and the poor are equal now now they're working yes. to get all us mm -hmm. we are on the same level trying to get we are all going through it the homeless outside can't even figure it out. Just like the rich can't figure it out. And the rich can't give nobody no money to bring back their mother that just passed away or their grandmother or their aunt. So we still have to sit fast in what we're doing and be wise to know, like, look, this is just not just because of somebody kissed a bat or whatever they, the freaking ah. shit they said that would happen. No, mm -hmm. it really is a wake-up call for us to get it together and to know who we are. And so when this world opens back up, we know how to run it and we know how to figure it out and we know how to be humble with our things and so don't take things for granted and love on your people you know you yes. have mothers now that don't know nothing about being a teacher now they have to be attentive to their child they have to be have one-on-one -on -one, you know courses with their child because again you, some mothers don't even know if they, their kid 
know how their math or they know their they know how to read because they're not attentive. Because you know what they do? They drop their kids off to the school bus and they go about their business. And, and then they, you have you have nothing else to teach your kids but go home, beat them kids, do the same thing tomorrow morning, treat their kids cool, then you know, be attentive. So now this is a wake up call for life because you don't understand. God got a blessing for somebody out there. But if you just steadfast and know what the blessing is, you will see at the end of the at the end of this road. So I just tell people to yes. stay home, be encouraged. Know if you if you're trying to get in this industry, and this is a, a, a perfect time to put whatever out because everybody's just on their phone, buying, everybody on their phone. So you continue to create, create in a space where you know you're doing it because you love to do it. You want to do it. It feels good to you. Don't do it because you see somebody else doing it. You feel me? Like when I have done everything I do, I didn't watch nobody. My peers, I didn't watch. I, what I, who I did watch was Jim Carrey. Who I did watch yeah. was the Oprahs. Who I did yeah. watch was someone that I could be a student. And not to say that I can't be a student to my peers, but we're all trying. We're all figuring it out. And Absolutely. again, not to say that Ella DeGeneres not figuring it out, because I'm pretty sure she has things that she wants to accomplish still. But I'd rather look up to somebody that at the end of the day are there or look up to somebody that's on the same level, that's trying to get it. You know, like me and B. Simone. We we yes. work together really good. We make money together really good. She's a comedian. She's funny. All right, we fun to vibe out. Just like J. Cole. Just that girl, J. Cole. It's a lot of just hilarious. So, uh, blame it on Quay. Got four or five restaurants. Why would I not yes. ask him how did he start that? You feel me? Why would I not sit down with somebody and tell them what what my how how it was to get a part of City Trends or why my stuff got sold out in 30 minutes in Tennessee? Because you know what Hello, I did? Girl, yes. Hello? What I did was I said I was persistent. I was determined yes. to have a change with my brand. I didn't give up at all. I didn't want to just be doing skits all day and really not seeing nothing come out of it. I was really determined to make to expand my brand, and I did just that. And you know, you sp so speaking on a little bit of that because I I'm starting to see now right now Instagram. It's a dope platform for people to really take their talents, and I mean, it's a lot of people becoming. I guess what it's being called the Instagram star. What sets Pretty V, Vina E, apart from everyone else to where you're able to soar as high as you're doing right now? Mm, well, for one, I got to say that I'm very authentic and I'm very raw and I'm very uncut. And I feel like I got to say this, my lane is not like nobody else's lane. And my lane is promised to me. So I walk in that purpose with my head held high. Hmm, and yes. It's just authentic. It's just very, it's something about me that's very authentic. And I think that something is just how I move and my grace and my comedy is just raw. And it's very untouchable. People don't get me. And I love that they don't get me because that means, I'm, I love that that's they don't get me because that means I'm not, I'm not somebody else. You could get somebody else. Mm -hmm. Somebody just saying you could get them. You could get somebody else being somebody. You can't get me because it's always going to be something that's going to be tense at the head of somebody's mind. And if I don't, Absolutely make nobody feel weird, then I'm not doing a great job. I love so, that because I, I think people, you know, when we look at Instagram, it's like, okay, she can do it. She came out with this. Let me do it and try to kind of almost not even emulate, but imitate and wonder why they're not taking off. And I think that's very important. Authenticity. Yes. So dope. Yeah. Well, of course, yes. we all know that you're And just staying is. true and just staying true to me, you know, yeah. that's the, that's the thing about me. I just stay true to me. I have nothing on my page has switched up. I'm always, you know, trying to, put you know what people know of me into like if i'm doing anything that's motivational just still kind of let people know like this is me this is what's me before this is what it is I'm, i don't i don't put on this is what you're gonna get and you know i just always try to be raw and just uncut and just authentic and just again that's the only thing i can really say and that's why i see with my with my with my brand and it's so unapologetic too my brand is just it's just dope you're gonna get it it's quality it's affordable you know, anything I do, I just don't try to rush anything. I want to look at it. I want to make sure this is what I want to do. This is how I want to do it. And we're going to, it's going to come out the way I want it to. You know, I'm always hands on with everything that I do. I don't give it to somebody else to rep or do. I, I love to do it. I love it. I love it. Well, I think we can see that in all of your product, all of your posts. And just excited. Just congratulations to all your success, girls. Just a Thank you. I love seeing ladies on the rise doing their thing. Pretty V, and I see folks are still checking in. Um, of course, I know everybody's kind of excited to hear your record, but I really want to know what process you really getting and honing into you becoming an artist and just really owning it to where now you got your record out. Oh my God, when I have four singles out right now and 
um, including Booty Squeeze. And when I did, you know, meet with my producer, Ron Browns, it was through um, um, Instagram. So that's how we connected through IG. And I was like, you know, what? I was doing music videos. I was doing like my skits, but I was always adding his, you know, his music in it. And okay. he was like, you got to connect with me. Like, let's link. And I was like, let's link. So when we first did a song, it was called Yo, What Up? And everything that I do, again, like I always say, is authentic. So what when we did the Yo, What Up? I was like, that's a fun song. It's going to get people hype. You know, it gives a New York vibe. You know, they can haul them shade. They can do what they do. And then I was like, all right, let me do Annie which was a song the I covered Jay-Z, It's a Hard Knock Life. Yes. And I did that. And then I did Follow Me Hoes. And I'm V-bouncing and Follow Me Hoes, Don't Follow Me. All <laughs> that. Now it got into the comedy. So I kind of just put my comedy and music. And the process was just very just like really putting it out and just really using my voice on another type of platform. And that platform was iTunes and, you know, the Spotify's. And just being in the studio, using my voice in another form then just doing skits and hosting, then on stage doing yeah. stand-up, on stage doing hosting, on different TV shows. I'm like, all right, they're going to hear me through this. So that's what we decided to do, and I've been, it's been going great. And I think it's just, it's just dope. You know, Booty Squeeze was I very... Yes, Booty Squeeze was very, like, on the fly. We was like, you know what, what, what do I do on Instagram that gets people attention? Okay, I'm always clapping my ass. I'm always squeezing it. <laughs> Let's do a song. Let's do a song called Booty Squeeze. Let's do it. Hey. Let's, let's figure it out. So we did that, and Phenomenal came out really dope. Thank y'all so much for supporting Moody Squeeze. I mean, the shirts are almost sold out. I should be sold out by the day. So I'm so, so, so excited about that. And then also, like, we, we're going to restock. But, like, I'm just trying to figure out how, what I want to do to bring out for the ladies so they could booty squeeze in. So yes. it's going to be really, really dope. I love it. It's such a fun song, and I think it's something we need, especially right now. So I see you got the booty Definitely. squeeze going on. So it's getting folks hype, happy, and just feeling good while in quarantine. So big ups to you, girl. Congratulations on it. Thank you, sis. Thank you. <laughs> Booty squeeze. So let me see some, um, the, what is it, the upside down emojis, like you twerking upside down and the fire lit emojis in the comments, because we about to debut the record. Pretty D, Dina. Period. <laughs> let everybody know. <laughs> you already know the vibes, your girl. Blood clap, pretty D. And this is Booty Squeeze on DJ Dime Peace, the realest of raw. We got to get it. Let's go. Hey, hoes, with another one. What they do? Cause I'm rocking with you. Let's go. Booty Hey. Hey. You guys can get the song in, at Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, um, everywhere. Title, it's lit. It's going crazy. And y'all send me y'all booty squeeze videos. I'm going to post some challenges today. When I tell y'all I love y'all so much, DJ Don Peace, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, the boo. The with the mixing. What up? <laughs> you know? <laughs> We're going to definitely continue to keep you know, collabing, anything you need from me, Please. you know, definitely hit my yes. people up and I got you. You can continue, we'll continue to keep doing your thing and I appreciate you. Thank you. Where are you located at? Los Angeles. I got to come out there. Please, let me when know. When it's over with, we got to link up. Let's do it, girl. All right, baby. Thank you so much. I You're welcome. Stay safe and uh, stay healthy, girl. I'll see you. Okay, you, you do the same. Bye, baby. Bye. Bye. Bye.